check one two one two mic check one two one two this cinnamon mocha is it i'm gonna tell you like now okay you're gonna love toriana trust me sis so let's just get into it but if you wanna go insane either way baby we could go all night we could do it all night we could go all night all night do we heal do we bleed i'm gonna follow yo leave but we could go all night now all of my calls go to voicemail i block you so i don't What's up, Guan? Welcome back to the channel. Okay, let me stop, okay? My accent is terrible. Anyways, what is good? Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl, Kyrie. If you're new here, make sure you hit that red subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you don't miss anything when I upload. That's what I hell up in my face. If you ain't new, welcome back. Well, let's go ahead and get it popping. I got this in the mail today, and I said, girl, I'm recording it today. So we're gonna be doing a unit from the Melted Hair Con Hairline collection from Outre. This is one of my favorite series that they have. I love this line. The Melted Hair Line, it be off the freaking chain. In T ways, so you could get a nice little look at this stock card. This is the style Toriana. I have it in the color DRFF2 slash Cinnamon Mocha. And I'm not gonna lie to you, this color right here that sister wearing, it was sold out. And I can't, what, what color is that? I think that's the DR Brown Sugar Swirl, yes. That color was sold out. The way they got that thing looking is real cute, but don't matter, because I feel like my color cute too. So this gives you a deluxe wide lace part, two by five inches. And then it's supposed to give you a front to effect hairline. That is the whole part, point of the Melted Hairline series. You can use heat up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit, and it's supposed to be a HD transparent lace, okay? This is what she's looking like straight out of the pack. Gorgeous, okay, gorgeous. Nice chocolatey brown. We got some feathering going on. We have those nice pretty little highlights up amongst the front. This does have the elastic band, so for those of you who love it, we have it. For those of you who don't like it, we still got it, okay? We have two combs, one on each side. We have one in the nape. We have adjustable straps in there as well, you guys. That's what it's looking like up against my skin. You can see the lace and stuff. And I do see that they do have some little baby hairs in it. It's not much. Little whimsy, little baby hairs and all that good stuff. If you're interested in this wig, this is Summer. I did do a two-on-one review with the Janet Collection from one of the Melt series with this and Maxine, I think. If you want to see that, I will link it below. Now, this is the middle part. So, I'm going to start it off in the middle. I'm going to see if we can make it work with a side too. So, let's see what she working with with that middle center center. Ooh, come on, girl. You better be giving me some life she kind of cute already child all right so this is what she looking like at first plop oh she's gorgeous she is a sexy little you get off my brows for you tear them off oh my goodness all right so off jump i'm gonna let you know that the hair is mad soft it's a straight textured unit and it's absolutely gorgeous it's soft to the freaking touch let me turn around before i start messing in it so much you're like girl you don't ruin the pattern so can you see it? This is what the lace looks like. So of course, if you're dark like me, you're gonna have to do something to color it to blend a little bit better. It's not too bad though. It's not too, too bad. Um, the parted space looks okay. Now that it is a two by five, so we do have space to get our part on a little bit. But the thing, exactly, that's what I was gonna say. The thing with that is once you do that, the hair is no longer in the position of the way it's styled. Like, that's what I'm saying. So it's not really going to behave. So you're going to have to do a little work, put a little heat to it to get it to stay where you want once you start moving around the part and stuff. But to be honest with you, the two, the two inches, it's not giving me that much to even be messing around with. But wait a minute. What I'm talking about, there's a little swoop. There's a little swoop right there. That little... That's look like it might could be something, right? All right, so I'm going to go ahead and stop the yapping. I just wanted to show y'all what it looked like initially. Oh, I'm going to do this little side part. But wait, before I do that, let me just see without manipulating the hair, if I wanted to just move it to the side like that, what is it giving? That's giving too. That's giving too. 
So I don't know if I'm just gonna shift the wig over a little bit like that, or we gonna see. So let's go ahead and get into the styling portion and I'm gonna let you know my thoughts at the end. Let's go. So firstly, I'm gonna go in with my matte foundation in the color NW45 to tint my lace. Now normally I use my even tint spray, but I ran out. So this is just gonna have to do the job for today, but it works, it's fine, it's just more work. And then I'm gonna set it so that way the powder actually stays in place, you guys. Now I just wanted to show you, if you look close up on the hairline, you can see it changed the color. That looks good, girl, I'm happy with the results. And now I wanna show you the hairline, get a good look at it, but we are gonna talk more about that in the review portion of the video. So I do cut my lace with a brow razor so that way it's not so straight and it kind of gives a little edge so it's not looking super wiggy. And as you notice, I did end up putting my wig to the my right and I went in and parted it. I didn't have to do that. I feel like that was extra. The wig on its own just cocked to the side was already giving me a vibe. I did the most. So now I have to go in with the hot comb and try to flatten it so it can stop falling down and stop trying to go back on the other side. And I also wanted to give myself that flip back action. Um, now normally I go in with mousse for this, but I was being lazy. And I ended up using this lace spray right here, but it's not gonna really do it for me. You gotta get something just a little bit heavier so you could kind of mold it. But I, I didn't do it and I was being lazy. I didn't wanna get messy with the moves. Y'all see what would end up happening, all right? Y'all gonna see. And also on the right side of my face, because the part is technically supposed to be in the middle, um, that hair is kind of out there, like it's fluffed out. And I wanted it to be a little slick as if it was really positioned as a right side part. So that's why I'm going in with the hot comb trying to flatten that up and I have to tuck in that extra lace that wouldn't be there if I would have kept it in the middle. But um, either way, it's, it's not a problem. You know, if I was really melting this sucker down, I would have just cut it off and that wouldn't have been an issue. But now you can see up there using that lace spray, I made it extra crispy, extra hard up under that little flip flip action. And I wasn't liking it. Of course it was giving it an extra shine. So I took the comb and I just combed that sucker right on out, okay? Trial and never, trial and never. But of course I'm gonna go on with my LA Colors powder. I like to use the lightest color, one of the lightest colors on my scalp because in real life my scalp is light. And then I'll take the darkest color and put it more towards the front of the part and in my hairline area because that would match my contour, my makeup, and my regular skin color. And of course I'm going to set that too because I want it to stay put. I don't want it flying away and I don't want it to look cakey and all of that good stuff. Okay. So that's all I really have to do. The hair came out really nice. I'm gonna give you a 360, you guys. I'm gonna show you what it looked like in the middle part and what it looked like on the side, which we have right now. And then I'm gonna give you my thoughts on it. Deep into my bloodstream Just trying to make the most of it Babe, I miss your body All right, y'all. So now that we have Toriana nice and styled up, let me get close with this. I like her. Did you hear me? I said I like her. First of all, let me just mention the one little con. Just one little con. One little con. Don't stop me from liking her though, because I still like her. Now we know the Milton Hairline Collection. They're supposed to be serving a frontal effect hairline. That's what they said, you know? But we're not really getting that. I will say this though. They did give us some sort of a natural hairline, but it could be plucked a lot better. I will say this too. If you're somebody who is very anal on the hairline looking natural, you're gonna probably go in there and pluck a little bit more because she's definitely kind of blunt up in this area. And there are places where she's a little bit more plucked than others, as you can see. But I mean, for what she's given, she looked pretty. So I'm gonna let her rock and I'm gonna let her slide. When you do decide where you wanna part the unit, um, it kind of opens up that space just a tad bit, especially when you add your powders and stuff like that. She is definitely a big head friendly unit. Um, from front to back, she got space. Like I can move her all the way up here on my forehead, but let me move her back, y'all. I'm messing up my hair. Don't you hate? You try to show somebody something, you start messing up your hair, then you gotta fix it all back and stuff. But yeah, she has space ear to ear. We got the lace on deck. I do absolutely love the lace on this unit. First of all, I feel like it just melts into your skin beautifully. Now, imagine if I would have put some lace tint spray, I mean, not tint spray, some lace spray on it. Like, that would have been like absolutely gorgeous because you know it's going to melt a little bit better. But as far as glueless, it works for me. Okay, so looking at the lace up against my hand, 
The part closer to my knuckles is where it has a little bit of the makeup that I added to um, blend it and up top near the bracelet. It's a little lighter, so you don't see any. But I will say, all in all, it's really nice looking. Really, really nice looking. So it's not gonna take much to make this blend to your skin. Just get the makeup that works for you. I mean, the lace be good. The lace be good. I ain't got no issue with the lace, you feel me? This color is popping. I was super jealous that when I was looking to shop for this unit that they did not have that brown sugar swirl color. But let me tell you something. This cinnamon mocha, this cinnamon mocha right here, this cinnamon mocha is it. First of all, we got that nice dark root, okay? And then we getting into this chocolatey brown here. And then we get these little peekaboo, little auburn, copper, whatever you wanna call it, highlights, ginger, whatever, okay? So autumn. So, so, so freaking just gorgeous. It's pretty. It's the bomb and then some. I would say that the unit is a beginner friendly unit. I didn't have to do so much to style the unit, but I would say that the unit is very versatile. Okay, I'm gonna jump into that. But as far as styling the unit, it's super easy. You don't have to do much, but add some powder to that part of space, add some powder to your lace, and uh, you know, on the bottom, set it. That's it. That's all you really have to do. The unit is already styled and done for you. Because I was being extra and they did give me the two to five, I was like, you know, let me repart a little bit. Let me put the wig to the side, see what's going to happen. You know, but you don't have to do all of that. I do feel like you do have some kind of versatility with the unit because it looks good in the middle and it looks good on the side too, y'all. Like, it, it, it looks good both ways. You don't get much part of space, but that little two to five inches, it allows you to do something. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm happy with with that I love the way the curls the waves fall because it's not really curly curly it's bad of course okay whatever we'll get away with it I love the way it falls I do feel like it was cooperating it's just the the layers are perfect like it's just gorgeous this is a beautiful unit now I know I just did the ultra brazella and brazella was gorgeous too now don't get me wrong I like me some brazella but I'm feeling this a lot more do y'all remember how everybody was feeling for Kamaya Kamaya be sold out still I feel like Toriana is gonna be like that especially if you don't like something as long as Kamaya Toriana gonna be the one she is serving office classy every day and she's easy you know what I'm saying get her one of these specialty colors girl <laughs> She's a very soft, textured, straight unit, y'all. It's feathery, it's not heavy, and it's not weighing me down. And it feels really good. I didn't have any tangling with this unit whatsoever. Um, the shedding was to a minimum. Like, I'm talking like one or two strands, you know what I'm saying? Oh, we're gonna cut it here because I could just talk all day about how much I like Toriana. But I'm gonna tell you again, she is so pretty. <laughs> I'm gonna wrap this video on up, y'all. If you're interested in the colored contacts that I'm wearing today, I am wearing Tipsy Brown from April Eye that will be linked in the description box below. Make sure you comment below what you think about this unit, okay? All right, and I will see you in another video. Until then, I'll holla.